Spiders in the Verse Sony Entertainment is spinning a web tapestry in its animated feature film Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but the DCAU has its fair share of web slingers too. Anansi was an African superhero who teamed up with Static on multiple adventures. Voiced by Carl Lumbly, John Jones in Justice League, and Stalker in Batman Beyond, Anansi received his powers by harnessing the golden spider of Kwaku Anansi, a token passed down through generations, which grants the user the storytelling abilities of the Ashanti trickster god of the same name. Anansi uses these special abilities to cast illusions and can walk on walls and ceilings just like a spider. Hit him with a web blast! I am not that kind of spider. Vixen became a member of the Justice League shortly after the events of Starcrossed. Fashion model by day, superhero by night, and girlfriend to Jon Stewart's Green Lantern, Vixen received her powers from a magical amulet called the Tantu Totem, also powered by the trickster god Anansi. The amulet allows Vixen to mimic the abilities of any beast of the animal kingdom that she chooses, like the strength of an elephant, speed of a cheetah, and even the skills of a spider. The Dark Heart was an alien nanotech construct that landed in Goldhanger, Nevada. The Justice League tried to contain it, but the entity constantly produced spider-like battle drones. Ultimately, Ray Palmer's Adam deduced how to disable the replications, and General Island confiscated the tech, which would later be retooled by Brainiac, inside of Lex Luthor, to create a body for Luthoriac or Brainathor or whatever. Black Spider was a minor mercenary with brief appearances in Batman Adventures Vol. 2 as a member of Black Mask's False Face Society. Black Spider would later be accused of being Batman in disguise by Matches Malone, actually Batman in disguise, and forcefully removed from the society after an alleged attempt on Black Mask's life. The DC Animated Universe also shared much of its voice talent with the classic Spider-Man animated series of the 1990s. Ephraim Zimbalist Jr., who played Alfred in BTAS, provided the voice for Dr. Octopus. Listen carefully. Now that I have twice as many hostages, I want twice the ransom. Mark Hamill, the Joker throughout the DCAU, played the Hobgoblin. You read me like a book. Speaking of books... I've got to balance mine. It's time I got paid. Corey Burden, Brainiac, played the lizard. No! You're twisting things. And Jennifer Hale voiced Black Cat. It'll be far more rewarding when you take the mask off for me, willingly. And numerous characters in the DCAU like Giganta, Killer Frost, Satana, Inza, and Black Siren, among others. The DCAU was scattered with many other references to Spider-Man and his universe, which we dug into more thoroughly in our previous Marvel References video. Hi, I'm Ted Kendrick, and you're watching another Trivia Tuesday with Ted, where I bring facts about the DCAU directly to you. 